This is my review of the Lego Ninjago set number uh, Skull Motorbike set number two two five nine. Um, yeah, you get two figures, and yeah, this guy is called Jay. Right, <laughs> he gets a, a pair of nunchucks, these golden ones. Uh, yeah, they look alright, I guess. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you just get like these two lightsaber things with the ends are different but yeah here we go that'll focus probably not <laughs> but you get the idea you've seen a lightsaber before it's just got a little thing at the end I don't know what it is and it's got this mini gold chain so that's alright I guess it's a pretty cool idea and you get this guy yeah, has a, a black katana, a samurai sword, and yeah, I think that's a new face. I'm not sure, never seen it before, but you know. And um, yeah, sort of new clothing. There's no detail on the back, just the front. Yeah. Although there is quite a lot of detail compared to the previous sort of ninja stuff. You know, so that's all right. And you get the skeleton dude, uh, Chopov. I don't know, is it some kind of Russian uh, skeleton, emo skeleton? <laughs> yeah, he's got like um. Well, first of all, I don't know about you. I know it's slightly different at the back, or maybe the whole thing's slightly different. I don't know. Um. Yeah. To me, this looks like a bit of a Stahlhelm. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know, the, uh, the German helmets from World War Two. <laughs> looks like they just copied it off Brick Arms and sort of, sort of changed it a little bit. But you know, it looks pretty awesome. I don't know what's supposed to. Uh, I don't know what the moral is really behind this. But you know, uh, it's a new face. As well, new skeleton face. Christ's sake, or oh, focus. Yeah. And he gets this like chest piece, got loads of spikes on it. I think that's new too. And his arms are new. You can see that. Looks alright, I guess. But yeah, this is probably the craziest Lego set I've ever seen. I mean, not just this set, but the whole series. I just don't understand. And his weapon is like uh, an axe, but it's attached to a bone. So I guess you could use that for other stuff as well. That looks pretty cool, but still. <laughs> what the hell? And now you get this motorbike. Um, looks more like a chopper to me, but anyway. Yeah, so you've got these flames <laughs> coming out of what I assume is the exhaust. Um, yeah, <laughs> looks pretty cool, I guess. But And basically, you've got this mechanism here. Yeah, you pull it, and it's supposed to pull this thing up, basically. Um, I guess when this dude's like. Try and attack him. Yeah, supposed to kill him. I guess it's alright. I'm actually missing a piece on here. Um, I don't know why. It's probably my fault, not Lego, I guess. But, yeah. Um, this is really weird. <laughs> I, I, assuming this is supposed to be the 21st century, otherwise, I have no idea where they get these uh, bikes from. I mean, you kind of look at the detail here in the background. It looks kind of classical, like 16th century kind of style. But they've got a huge freaking motorbike. <laughs> what the hell? I really should read up on it before I criticise it though. So, it's got lots of cool bits. You know, like this neo-Nancy... Grunge skeleton guy. 
well camouflaged blue ninja. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing more of these, more reviews on these uh, in this series, but you know if you want me to, I'm sure I'll do it. You know, but um, I give it like seven out of ten. Purely just because it freaks me out a little. <laughs> um, but otherwise you get some cool bits, you know, you get like samurai sword and a random bone and some nunchucks. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.